Hey everyone, okay another video about The Witcher, but this time on the next gen update There's a, several things that we gotta talk about in this video The first one is if the game doesn't start, like if you select DirectX 12 And it doesn't start, like it's a black screen, that's what we're gonna be tackling here And two, being able to actually play on it, okay So, we gotta do a couple of things, we gotta do we gotta go to tools. We gotta make sure that we're using Proton Experimental, but the bleeding edge version. So you once you select tools here, you will be able to see your Proton Experimental. If you don't have it, if you don't have it, like you gotta search for it in here. Okay. Um, let me just remove the games. And we'll look for Proton Experimental, and then you'll see it there without the bleeding edge. And you right click properties you go to beta and then you select the bleeding edge version okay we need this for the for this new version of uh, the witcher okay at least to be able to play it once you've selected that then we also need to add let me remove the tools go to the games we select all these parameters here. Well, actually, you don't need this Mango HUD and game mode run, but you do need to. Well, you also don't need this one. That, that was me testing. But you do need the VKD3D config DXR11, and you need this VKD3D feature level, you know, 12 underscore one, and you might need the rest that are here. Basically, Basically for the black screen to actually go away and for you to be able to play. Okay, so we're gonna actually click here It works fine on on 4k. I'm using 1080 right now just because of of the uploading speed to YouTube But on on 4k you get around 100 on the 4090 in video 4090 you get around 120 130 FPS uh, there is this consistent freezing every time I change to the video settings or actually change any of the settings there. Um, let's go to display. For some reason, it doesn't save every time I put it there at the max. Okay, save that one. Here again. Okay, good. I'm, I'm gonna remove VSync. Yeah, because I was doing a lot of tests to see if I could get it, you know, max with working properly and all that. The only two things that you gotta at least disable for now, while I, mean, I don't know if it's related to the fact that this new version they didn't actually do a lot of QA on it, they didn't actually do a lot of tests because a, everybody's having issues with it. So, ray tracing, you gotta disable that. This is specifically for, for Linux. Okay, you gotta disable that one or the game won't work. And here you can play and do whatever you want. Do note that if you change the sharpening, I mean, you can put it in low or off, but sometimes when you change it, the whole thing freezes over, okay? Um, I normally put it low. Um, I got this to disable it. They don't even affect the, the FPS value, to be real, on the 4090. It's just that it, it, I get motion sick or something. I, I don't know why. Um, and the NVIDIA hair works. You gotta disable this one for now. This was actually working previously on the 1.32, 32, 36, I forgot. Um, but you gotta disable it for now for the game to actually work properly uh, for a longer period of time. Okay, so let's load an existing game. Uh, the volume of the game is low, so you can actually hear me. Okay. We should be able to get something around 200 and something FPS, but on the 4K you actually get 130, 120. With DLSS uh, on quality. It actually looks different, the game. It looks uh, much better. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're getting 100. Whoops. 180. 
You get the idea. You are good. Good FPS there. Slow now. Whoa. Whoops. Sorry, dude. This is why I removed the sharpening. It goes too far. Too much. I'm only playing the game from the beginning again, just to see all the differences. But I'm I'm waiting just for Proton to to um, to start working on the ray tracing part properly. Some games work. Not for a long period, but they work. Some games don't. Um, again, you gotta disable this one. Um, you, I mean, this is up to you, this too. But the NVIDIA hair works also, you gotta disable it. I got everything ultra here, as you can see. Uh, by the way, it, you didn't see the direct X menu because of this parameter that I put here. Okay? Uh, this one, launcher skip. If I remove that specific one, Then you do get the direct X12, uh, you know, pop up th this thing. Okay. For some reason, I can't put my mouse there now. Like in the beginning, I was able to. Now I can't, but it will automatically select play in a couple of seconds and then start with that. With that direct X12, you can see the ray tracing in the DLSS on the on the on the video configuration part inside the game. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's because I press, press enter like 30 times there. Okay. Okay, see? Uh, display, yeah. Okay, for the users that ask how the hell do i go back to the previous witcher right click the witcher screen properties go to beta and select the classic one you're not actually in beta version you would be just going back to the 1.32 before this whole patch went through okay you can either do that or just wait um for the the, the creators to actually update this again um, because in the news, it's, it's everywhere. All the issues that Linux users and Windows users are, are having in common, okay? So, I yeah, I hope that that covers everything. Again, remember, the steps are you need to use Proton Experimental. That's the one that I found there um, working. Like, I, I, I tested Proton GE, the latest version, no luck. I uh, tested 7.05, no luck. I tested Proton Experimental, no luck. And I'm like, hey, what happened if I l literally go to the experimental version of the experimental version? So uh, that one worked. And after that, I found, you know, the, the typical issues of um, of the actual parameters that you needed to put in the, in the game. So that's where all these parameters come in. Okay, you actually need that for the whole DLSS and ray tracing everything there. Uh, yeah, and hope you like the, the video. Subscribe to help me with the channel. And yeah, let me know what else I can test. Thank you.